I grew up as the fat kid trying to gain validation and get self-approval, um, which is a really exhausting way to live. Oh, I can go hide my body shame. I can go hide my religious shame. I can go hide my grief. And I'm going to go become 100% obsessed with this career. So I kind of hit this, this, this void and as you know, leading up to the first cycle experience, it's, it's a term that I've, I term in my book called the success void. There was a book that came out that week. There was a top seller called stealing fire. So I get to a part in the book where they talk about psychedelics and growing up as like this kind of toxic Mormon sales bro, you're taught that all drugs are basically meth or heroin. And if you do them one time, you'll become addicted and then you'll become homeless and then you'll die. Like, yeah. that's just, that's what it is. And so I'm reading this book, Stealing Fire, and they're talking about the therapeutic benefits of psychedelic healing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like my jaw is dropped. And specifically in the book, they talk about LSD, they talk about psilocybin mushrooms, they talk about DMT and ayahuasca, and they talk about MDMA and how it works, how a lot of vets are taking uh, MDMA to help with PTSD. Mm -hmm. And I'm literally like blown away at what I'm reading. And I remember feeling in my, in my gut, I'm like, there's something here. And things really changed because they talk about in that book that there's a quote from Steve Jobs, who, you know, being a young business guy like Steve Jobs is like the Mecca of, you know, idols. Yeah. And he has a quote where he says, you know, doing LSD was one of the most profound experiences of my life. And I'm like, wait, here's this guy that like literally changed the world that we all have as products. And he's talking about, uh, about psychedelics in a positive tone. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there is something going on over here. And so I'm reading that book. I'm blown away. Two weeks later, um, I was supposed to be working in an out of state, but for whatever reason, I was in town in Utah. I had a buddy call me. It was a Saturday night. He calls me and he goes, hey, um, there's a cabin happening. There's a party happening up in Eden, Utah. And have you ever been to Eden? No. So it's this beautiful area up in, in Utah. It's in the mountains and there's this incredible lake and it's just like total picturesque mountain vibe. And He's like, hey, our friend's having a, a, a party up at his cabin. You should come up with us. I'm like, cool, totally. So I don't think anything is going on. I'll probably have a couple of drinks, you know, whatever, house party, whatever. So I get to this cabin and I see a friend that I hadn't seen since high school. And he just says, hey, Doug, good to see you. Not sure if you're into any of this, but I have some MDMA here if you want some. Hmm. And I'm like, no shit. I'm like, I've never been offered this in my life. And I Ever. just read about it. <laughs> and I read about this two weeks ago. And I'm like, I remember feeling like, oh, I have to try this. Like, I just have to go see how this is going. So I don't know. Are you, are you familiar with MDMA? Of course. Of course. Right. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to take MDMA. So I take this MD, it's a press pill, right? Uh, I think it had a, like an Ikea logo on it. And I take this pill and, you know, 45 minutes later, it kicks it. Right. And so I'm like, whoa, this is amazing. I love everyone. Like, give me a back massage, turn off the lights, turn on, you know, turn on the EDM music and just vibe. Right. Yeah. And so I'm having my first, you know, MDMA experience and I'm just full of love and light and it's all great. And it's amazing. But I have this moment where probably like, I'm definitely a peaked, I'm definitely rolling. And um, I have this moment where I'm like, okay, this is great. And this is cool. And like, I love my friends and like, I feel more open, but I'm like, well, I'm not like meeting God. Like this isn't changing. This isn't like some yeah. deep spiritual experience that, you know, like, and I was thinking back to the book. I'm like, I was, you know, people have these moments where they feel like one with God. I'm like, I don't feel, I feel happy with my friends and I feel full of love, but like, this isn't a spiritual experience by any means. And so as I'm kind of just like normally rolling, kind of having a normal night, my friend's like, Hey, come into the master bedroom. We're going to turn off all the lights. We have like this glow stick thing and we're going to turn on dead mouse really loud and you're going to love it. I'm like, cool, let's do it. Whatever. So we do like this little laser show, what if, whatever, we're just doing drugs and um, someone comes in and like messes up the vibe, hits the light and everyone kind of like scatters out and then someone turns off light. So I remember 
I'm in this bedroom by myself and I'm laying on the hardwood floor and I'll never forget. I have my hands behind my head. And I remember thinking, there's more here. Like there's another level of this. Like there's, there's something else going on here. So I get up to stand up to leave this bedroom. And I have this moment of like, oh shit. Like I need help. I need help right now. And I start to panic and I start to fall behind my body like I did in Costa Rica. So I've out of body experience again. And wow. I like froze in time and I was like, oh shit, I'm dead. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Like I've died in it and like, all of these memories, it was insane. All of these memories from when I was a little boy started to come back into my mind. And I'm like, oh, like your life flashes before your eyes. I'm like, oh shit, I'm dead. Like I've literally died and I was getting these really weird memories when I was like three years old playing in my old house. And I'm like, they're gonna have to tell my mom that I took drugs at a party and died. Like, and then all of a sudden it was like, Woof. and I like slapped back into my body. And there was like this ringing, this like, wow, wow, like really intense. And I'm like, what just happened? And like, all of my fear was gone. And I opened up the bedroom door to go back into the party. And I don't know how to explain this, but the best words I can use was I was in like the spirit realm. Like I was in the higher dimension and it wasn't a hallucination where I had my eyes closed. It was literally happening. Everything was way more enhanced. Everyone had like these light systems that went up them and I, they were breathing these energy off of them. And it was, everyone had different colors. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.